Hello guys, it's Megan Jeffrell and let's review this Faber Castle 48 Gold Faber Aqua. So please stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today, ito will be reviewing this um Faber Castle Gold Faber Aqua that I got from Lazada. So, this is actually 48 colors for 1,800 pesos. And I'll be using as well here the Baohong um, watercolor sketchbook. Okay, so let's start. So, ito yung um, paper sa loob with the colors and the details. So, wala siyang name ng colors sa pencils. And I created um, already yung um, swatch natin dito. Hindi ko nalagyan ng name kasi nga puro numbers naman siya. So, it's okay. At eh, saka ang dami kasi nung colors. So, yan. Ito yung gold. And, hindi masyadong nag-ano yung gold. Pero, I don't know if I need to um, add more colors. And, one tip pala guys, when you're doing this or when you're um, using a brush to activate, huwag masyadong maraming tubig. Ito kasi yung brush ko na um, Paulina Bright, nag-absorb siya ng maraming tubig. So, I have to dab it sa tissue paper. Or, you can use a different brush na hindi masyadong nag-absorb ng water. So, if you notice, ang dami, diba? Ang daming lumalabas na water doon sa, sa brush. So, I had to um, dab it on uh, paper. Ayan. So, mabilis mag-activate yung colors niya. And I just noticed, syempre pag yung scratch, the way you scratch it, may naiiwan siya na mark. It's actually, I think, similar with other um, other watercolor pencils. Pero, look how vibrant those colors are, right? So, um, at ang bilis talaga niya ma-activate. Ayan. So, uh, yun. I'm not sure why they always put white, pero hindi ko naman siya nagagahan masyado yung white. Siguro sa ibang to lighten up or to make it pastel -y. So, yan. So, ito na yung mga ibang um, colors. And, one more thing. Wala nakalagay na light fastness dito. So, most likely, this is an, uh, this is a student grade um, line ni Faber-Castell. And, um, I also saw some reviews online or sa YouTube comparing it with Albrecht um, Durayer na ano. How do you not pronounce it? Ar Albrecht or Albrecht Durayer sa um, uh, set uh, it's similar naman siya pero syempre light fast yun and it means it will last longer I mean the colors will last longer so but if you'll be using this naman for um, digital works it's fine and for practice naman din and for the price of 1,800 napakarami mo ng colors so imagine uh, magkano ba yun? So, kung 1,800 is like um, divided by 48. So, it's like you pay 37 pesos or 37.50 per color. Ayan. So, ang mga gusto ko rin dito is yung um, line ng mga greens and um, blue-greens nila. Ayan. So, bilis na siya mag-activate. Ayan. So, um... Maganda lang sa watercolor pencils guys if you're starting to do watercolor painting is you can control yung pagkulay um, or paglagay ng pigment sa paper because if you're new sometimes nalagpas yung pagkulay nyo using the brush pero if you have um, already um, have the uh, color pencil or watercolor pencil you can control it right pero ang ano nga lang dito is ang downside lang niya is it will take more time for you to do your work kasi kukulayan mo pa, diba? Um, yung pagkulay mo na using the watercolor pencil um, is on top of um, the way you activate, diba? But compared to watercolor talaga na diretsyo is um, hindi mo na kailangan i-activate kasi yun na siya mismo yung pigment, right? So, it means you have um, you need longer time or you have to do it longer than the usual painting. Ayan. So, yung black, okay. Okay naman yung mga kulay. For me, ah, maganda yung <laughs> maganda tong um, watercolor pencils na to. And, marami yung magandang review sa YouTube. So, I have decided to buy it. And, um, the time na nakita ko to is, um, I think I have extra 
budget to spend. So, um, that's why I added this to heart. And then, yun, na, yun nga lang. Um, I can remember, um, nung time din is ubus na eh, kasi dahil pandemic, probably, um, ganun nga. So, yun. So, let's try to, um, paint. Uh, I mean, try to color uh, my painting. So, ginawa ko dito is nag-sketch ako ng lamp. Hindi ko napakita yung buong process the way I colored it. Basta, um, we will activate the colors. So, um, ayan. Inuuna ko muna yung mga lighter colors than the darker ones. So, yun. Pero, actually, you have, um, multiple ways or different ways where you can use watercolor pencils. Una, itong ginagawa ko, which is color it um, on the paper and then activate it. That's the first process. Second one is, you can actually wet the color pencil. I will show it later. Pero yung basahin yung tip ng pencil mo and then pag basa na siya, you can use it as like a liquid um, pigment or liquid um, pencil dun sa, ano mo, sa paper. And then third is you can actually smudge the pigment or using a blade or using um, the sharpener, you can get the pigment sa isang container or sa isang palette. Then, pwede mong basahin. <laughs> nga lang mga trabaho. So, ito na nga siya. Um, I'm just doing it light. Okay, now, I'm using a regular brush for me to um, activate it. Ayan, um, so actually, ito yung naisip ko nung ginagawa ko tong um, painting na to. <laughs> Pwede naman pala siya na gawin mo muna is kulayan mo muna yung background and then babasain mo siya. And then, you will color the, um, the, ba the foreground or the main subject right after you wet yung uh, background. Yun nga na mas matrabaho siya. So, ang ginawa ko dito is quick, um, quick painting lang. So, yan. Yeah, Nami-iwas-iwas ka, ba diba? Or, um, it takes time. Actually, you can also use the, what do you call that? Um, I have it here. Yung masking fluid. So, hindi ka na mag-worry kung lalagpas ba or iwasan mo ba. But, for this one, since this is just a quick, um, painting or quick, um, activation ng, ng pigment um, hindi na ako na gano'n namiiwas iwas lang ako sa kulay pero if you notice na, if nakikita nyo humahawa siya yan, gaya, yan. humahawa yung ibang kulay kasi nga kinulayan ko na siya lahat diba? pero actually ang style dun is pwede din naman na wag mo na kulayan yun yung background muna and then babalikan mo na lang siya pag, pag tuyo na ayun na humahawa siya pero maganda lang kasi dito is um you can actually experiment depending on your preference on how you do it. Kasi dun ka naman talaga natututo whenever you do things over and over, right? So, ayan. Um, so, ginawa ko dito. Um, ayan, una, yan mahawa siya. So, yun lang. <laughs> but it can be, um, it's just um, a practice or be playful, diba? Um, don't worry about um, making mistakes or um, masyadong maging perfect yung color mo. Sometimes, it's, uh, it gives you um, good effects dun sa painting mo. So, yan. So, if you notice, hindi ko kanulaan yung ibang part. Yun yung mga shiny part. It's also another tip, guys. If you're making watercolor, hindi mo kukulayan ng opaque yung mga white. You have to avoid coloring it. So, ayan. So, ginawa ko dito. Binasa ko siya, diba? Like what I told you earlier, you can wet the um, pencil. Ito yung ginawa ko dito, yan. Basta yung paper and then I applied or I use it. Ang lambot niya. So, it's very um, it's very easy to activate yung colors. Yan o, sobrang lambot and mabilis mag-activate yung colors. Ang galing. Diba? Ayan. So, ayan siya. Nakatawa. So, um, and then you can also put another water or you can um, still wet it. Yan. Yun nga lang, be careful kasi sa paper nyo, if yung paper nyo is manipis lang like 200 um, GSM or what. Ito kasi sa akin, 300 GSM to. So, ang fun na dito is itong orange. Yung ginamit na kay orange, talagang ang uh, nag-pop yung, ano, yung lamp and yung color. So, uh, yan. Uh, itong gamit ko yung Baohong um, 
sketchbook. Sobrang tagal na niyan sa akin. Hindi ko nagagamit. Sa so, dami ko ng paper na natambak na kasi busy rin sa work and sometimes I play games or console. So, um, ayun, hindi ako nakagawa din ng masyadong artworks. And at the same time, I also do digital painting, di ba? So, um, dun din na pupunta yung iba kong time. Ayan. So, dyan lang muna sila yung mga paper. But, from time to time, I'm trying to do some, uh, um, time lapse or yung mga reviews. Ayan. So, ito, I needed to add more, um, dark colors or dark shade. So, hinalo ko yung blue tsaka gray so I can achieve yung gusto kong kulay dun sa reference photo. By the way, guys, this is, um, I forgot where I got it, but I, I think the reference is from Pinterest or Google. So, this is, um, something na hindi ko, um, ginawa out of, um, a subject. I just copied this one. And it's just okay if you're doing it for, um, for practice. And just, um, isa din guys sa tip is, um, wag nyo i-own yung mga, um, yung design or, um, specific na artwork na ginaya nyo lang or practice nyo lang. Make sure to give credit dun sa owner or dun sa pinagkuhan nyo. For this one, it's just a practice. So, um, ayan. Ayan. So, um, I needed to use black to have some, um, darker areas there. Ayan. So, <laughs> I switched uh, the brush to nylon brush or to um, Perla Escoda. Ayan. Ang fun kasi dito guys sa watercolor pencils is you can always play with it. Para siyang, um, ano ba? <laughs> Crayola na ano, na nag-activate. Ayan. So, pwede mo siyang gamitin if it's, um, like, dry or ano pag wet so nakakatuwa siyang paglaruan so actually guys um don't be stressed with your painting painting sh um should give you um release of stress diba you don't have to be stressful with the painting but sometimes it's siguro for work or there's submission dun ka na sa stress but technically art is a form of um something that is just for not just for um for work but it's also to give you release or satisfaction as well so the in the process of you doing it as parang stress as stress it would also show in your artwork so yeah so ang sarap nitong gamitin itong uh, watercolor pencils kasi <laughs> nakakatuwa kapag marami kang nilagay ang dami rin niyang um and na activate din talaga siya. So yan. And um for this one, hindi ko na masyadong kabisado yung kulay kasi um ang kulay niya is number and then yung kulay, yung name ng colors na nandoon sa um pamphlet nandoon sa paper. So it's just, I think this is okay. This is a daming ng um kulay and um this is actually student grade naman. So ayoko na kabisaduhin yung mga <laughs> pangalan and um Ayun. So, I'm adding some grays to add um, more um, darker uh, areas there. And, ayan. So, actually, may hanggan siya eh. So, pag naka-isa ka na or naka-isa isa dalawang hagod ka na dun sa paint, yun na yun hindi na siya talaga mas mag extend pa yun na talaga yung um kulay niya maganda lang dito sa watercolor pencil is you can um remove or you can um yeah pag inactivate siya binasama siya you can lift the colors compared to ink tense ink tense kasi since it's ink kung hindi nilagay mo yun na siya permanent na siya dun sa paper mo ayan so there Ayan, 
Ayan, so let's do a quick review. Um, yes, I uh, first I like the the set. Um, it's a uh, very uh, user friendly and mabilis siya mag-activate. So isa yun sa magandang feature ng um, gold fabric aqua. And then second, vibrant yung colors niya. And then third, um, for the price of that amount, you can buy a lot of colors. And then um, if you'll ask me if I recommend for you to buy this, yes, I do recommend for you to get this one. But like what I said earlier, if you're trying to submit um, projects to your clients and um, of course you don't want to disappoint them if you will be using student grade um, because the colors will fade in um, probably several years or a few years. So if you'll be doing that, I think that is good uh, if your project is digital. So I recommend if you're trying to do um trying to do a project uh you also level it with the pricing. So you don't price too much if you're using a student grade um materials. And also it depends on you. But it's just I think my preference if I you it depends also my on my materials and the time I spent with the project and it is better for you to deal with um, your clients prior to you doing the project kasi mahirap maningil if your clients don't like the way you price it after na nung project mo so mas maganda na set mo na yun doon so you'll be able to get at least half of um, the payment or the down payment para hindi kayo mahirapan na maningil after um, some time or after the project is done Kasi syempre, diba, you want to reward yourself and this is work. Hindi naman siya um, binig, uh, gumawa ka lang because um, gusto mo lang ibigay. But if it's work or if they hired you to um, paint, definitely it's work. So you have to um, make a deal and create um, or do your action plan or do your um, payment plan. So alam ni client kung kailan niya tatapusin yung bayad and kailan siya mabayad and how much. Ayan. So, I hope guys you learned something from today's uh, today's video. Um, again, another um, another material that we reviewed and um, I hope you also try it. If you're able to try um, this watercolor um, set, let me know your feedback on the comment section. And if if there is a material that uh, you want me to review or uh, um, art material that you want me to check or review for you probably you can click it or you can comment it down below and or you can um, let me know and thank you again guys for watching um, this video I hope uh, you'll be able to learn something every time I post or every time I talk about um, art and um, Please to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my um, channel. You can also click the notification bell for my future videos and vlogs. You can also check other uh, videos that I have there. I have some travel videos, food trip, and a lot more. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of the painting. Take care where you are. Bye!